coming after you. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Dumbass just wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> no way, wreck, really? Absolutely stupid. I would lie awake and think of you and all the things that we could do if I could only make you more. Today we are back at Dominion Raceway and it is hot as balls outside. But if you watched my last video, then you probably know why this is going to be a special race. Blake Morris, the son of the king, the goat. Philip Morris. His son unfortunately passed away a couple years ago. So we're having a memorial race for him tonight. His, his number was number 72. So we're doing twin 72s tonight, which is uh, you know just enough length that makes it worth coming here because you know I like these longer races. My car is actually Philip's old car named Biscuit. So obviously we call it the Ferrari now. But uh, we came up a little short in this race last year. So I'd like to uh, improve on that tonight and have a solid run. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the points up on the screen now. Not too much has changed, but we're just hoping for a solid night tonight. We are going to have a full field. Look, man, I'm super pumped to be back at Dominion. We've been running strong here. I expect nothing less tonight. Let's stop talking. Let's get in this hot ass race car and have a great day. Huh, cameraman? over and uh, we showed really good race speed obviously we weren't putting down like that fast lap we didn't even do a mock run everything's been really upbeat today I thought for a while we were gonna get rained on but uh, we're getting ready to roll for qualifying so let's hope we can have a good strong run of qualifying right here We qualify third. I, I like usual here. I don't know what the invert is. We, we have some solid race run speed, so I'm happy with that. I didn't really expect to set the world on fire in qualifying, but uh, looking forward to a great night. Again, this race is 72 laps, not 60 or 50 or whatever we normally do. So uh, that's a lot of laps here at Dominion, so you're not going to go all out the entire time. And uh, that's the type of race I prefer. So with that being said, let's have a great night of race. A longer race. This is our type of race right here. So let's put on a clinic, put the shit together, and uh, be there at the end. Okay, let's do our best to keep them behind us. I think I feel good to not let them get by us. 10-4, I agree. Green, green, green. Come on, you got the momentum. 26 under you. Come on, drive it hard. Clear down behind the 26 right now. If you take it quickly, take it quickly. All good. Outside, outside. Just him outside. Just him by himself. Clear, 
mod, I'm covered by other ones inside, inside, inside. Clear down behind them if you want them. We got 62 to go, so don't kill your shit. 21 to go. So Chase, what's our strategy here? We're just going to account for the invert, or are we switching cars, or what? I mean, right now he's running at that same speed as everybody. I mean, if we're going to switch cars, you got to fucking pull in and try that one now, if you're even thinking that. Yeah, I mean, you got the 28, like, five back, and then the next car is a fucking half a track back. Your P6. We'll figure it out. I'm conserving my shit. Just wait. Just focus and, you know, figure out what we need. If it's tight, loose, you know, where it needs to be better. It just feels like it's not in the racetrack on that track. Coming back to seven to go. Uh, yellow's out, yellow's out, shit. So we have the chance, that car's probably not gonna start the next race if it just fucking killed the wall. So we need to make the most of this race right here. And that's some points. The O1 only has fourth gear. Copy that. Ten four. So pick opposite lane. Yeah, don't get behind him. So the O1 said he's taking the bottom with the fourth gear only. No calling him. Green, 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 come on. Clear down behind the O1 if you want it. There you go. Come on. So the GoPro actually overheated and shut off during the end of that race. So when I got out of my car in tech, I thought that I was turning the GoPro off, but I accidentally turned it back on. And this is just a minuscule thing to include in the video, but at the time it, I didn't even think about it. But this guy right here is actually the Zero's dad. And he shouted something to me the second that I turned my engine back on the drive back to my pits. And I gave him a little nod just thinking that it was just some fun because I didn't really see anything wrong with the way that I ran the Zero. Like I'm looking for points that was a full field and I preferred to get the extra two points for passing him on the last lap. Now again, at this point, I didn't even realize that there was bad blood or anything brewing. I thought that I, I just ran my race and I was happy to come up with second after the race that we had. It was just funny to look back on watching this that there was actually a hint at what was about to come. All right, so we somehow made something out of nothing in that first race. Uh, we got lucky with some late race cautions and ran the second. Apparently the zero's pissed off. I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, I don't know. He moved his ball, so hopefully he's not too mad at me moving him. We're going to have a good night. We're going to go try and get a trophy in this one and uh, have some fun. Huh? What do you say, kid? Have some fun. The Zero is apparently pissed off that we moved him. Apparently his, his dad was bitching. Keep an eye on that. Roger. Green, green, green. Go outside. Stay 
down there, come on. Still out there, still out there. Still outside. You'll get him, he's bottom and out, still out there, still there, just barely, holy cow. Still there, still there, still there, clear. You guys gonna be running up on that blue 22 in the corner or two, he's on the bottom right this corner. No pressure right now. Still there, just barely. Still there, still there. Still there, still there. Clear. 26 half back. All clear. 26 right with us. Just overdrive and entry both ends. He's got a little bit of run. Cover the bottom. He's looking, he's looking. Cover, 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 cover. Inside. He's trying to wreck us. We're all clear still. All clear. He's zero's with him. Zero's got him jacked up. You're going to be all clear. All clear, all clear, all clear. Cover the bottom. Zero's got him all jacked up. He's done for. Clear by two. Pitch your marks. Let's go get that motherfucker. Coming back to 50 to go, 5-0. It's all you, buddy. You sliding around is better than everybody on the track. So just make the most of it. You're the fast car on the fucking track. The gap's way bigger behind you than it is in front of you. Coming back to 4-0 to go. So let's set him up and let's pass him. We don't have to rough him up. Let's just get by him quickly. Now we got to go. 26-3 back. We're better than him. We're getting held up. Gonna have to do something. There you go. Stay down there. All right, that was enough t opportunities. Gonna try it three wide, cover the bottom, cover the bottom, cover the bottom, inside of your you're all clear, all clear, come on. It's gonna look for the same thing, three wide again, cover, 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 inside, barely he's in there. All clear again. Let's get rid of this fucking guy. Still out there, still there, still there, still there. We drive in hard. Come on. Alright, we gotta make quick work up. There's 30 to go, let's get this motherfucker out of our way. All right, inside, just barely all, come on, come on, come on. Cover the bottom, cover the bottom, cover the bottom, cover the bottom. Clear, 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 clear. Come on, come on, come on. They're in line, the zero's in line with them. Run them hard, get it to his fucking door. The zero's in line with them, come on. Got a hole behind him now, take it, get him the fuck out of the way. That's the zero, that's the zero. All right. Still got 20 to go. Let's get by these two. Come on, let's go get that 22. We still got fucking 15 to go. All clear, all clear, all clear. Green, green, green. Come on, let's run them hard. You got the momentum. You got the momentum. They're almost clear. Just barely there. Clear, 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 clear. Come on, come on, come on. Let them get side by side. 
I'm heated, man. <laughs> That's fun, bro. I had heard the zero, was upset that I moved them at the end of the uh, the first race, but I mean, we're racing for position. Was it even that bad? All I did was, it's not like I jacked him up, he was about wrecked, I just pushed him up and turned down underneath of him. Like, I mean, it was aggressive, but I'm racing for points, obviously, like, gotta get what you can get. It's funny, as shit, he wrecked after the, after the check. I was recording, too, so I got it. <laughs> Jason, he he follows dude? you full speed oh, all yeah. the way around the track. As soon as you slow down, it's like he didn't anticipate it. He went to hit the brakes, even though he's trying to hit you, and then slams into the outside wall and those first. Yeah. All right, so we wound up dropping the protest. I'm still not sure if we were wrong on one of the items or not. We got our window net protested. Another thing with the window net that I forgot to mention in the video is that it also has to be solid, and they said that mine felt light. But to be honest, I have no idea whether or not my window net is solid all the way through, and how is it even legal to check that? I don't know another item that you could protest, and you could physically destroy the item to check if it's legal, because like, what happens if we went through with that? Like, is somebody gonna pay for it, or how does that work? That's just one of the many stupid things that happen that I'm about to explain. And it has to be steel, magnetic, and a half inch thick, which it was, but then again, it was, they measured it at 0.4972. Like, I don't know if that would have passed or what. I mean, you're talking three thousandths of an inch, like a remeasure could potentially fix that. But something was going on because I don't know how many times I had to say, I, I personally did not care if I got thrown out, but I felt like my stuff was legal. And obviously, had I sat down here and be like, yeah, I got thrown out for my window net, nobody here watching my videos or at the track is thinking like that created any speed or anything like that. The whole situation was hot because I said, move forward with the protest for about a half hour, 45 minutes. And they kept giving me the option like, like we don't wanna do this. Like if you drop yours, we'll drop ours. Like they're definitely worried about that cam. And then they got us on technicality because the person that signed my protest was my dad. And my, my dad is not a licensed division one uh, you know, he doesn't have his NASCAR Division One license. I still think they would have went forward with the protest, but it would have gotten appealed and potentially thrown out had it been wrong. They didn't sign their protest either, 
which we I cannot find the rule for it, but I swear that you have to sign it. I've always been told that. If you've been watching my channel, this is not my first protest, not my first rodeo, but uh, you always have to sign the bottom of it. I wish I would have taken a picture of it. That would have been some real insight. You should have seen their fucking paper. Mine was cam, and then theirs was like <laughs> window net, deck, deck height, uh, springs, shocks, truck arms, cam, crank. A uh, bunch of stuff and I actually ha got them on a technicality because you have to pay the amount in full within 10 minutes I know this sounds like a lot of information, but I do try to provide the most insight possible in my videos So they didn't give all the money up front So I wound up having a few things taken off which was the last couple they wrote So I don't think they were gonna actually get the check or springs with the shocks, but we uh, Threw it out just because of the appeal. They were extremely worried about that cam and to be honest, I was personally comfortable with getting thrown out for the window net for the integrity of the track because I have been vocal about that car's speed for a long time, over a year. I filed the wrong protest when I protested them last year. I did a chassis dyno. That was the wrong thing to do. And I can make a fucking separate video on why I thought that was weird, but I'm not trying to sit here and bitch. I'm just giving you the information that just happened and you can form your own opinion around it. But I, I thought that even had that been wrong and, and it had gotten appealed and re reinstated and he got the wins, that had it been wrong, he wouldn't come back here with that same cam and wouldn't be nearly as fast. And then I would have potential to come back here and run the Twin 60s in the future. Because quite honestly, that is why I don't run the Twin 60s is because I have no chance to win the first 60 lap race. And to be honest, I might not even have a chance to win the second 60 lap race. Jeremy Upchurch builds me Great motors. That motor that is in the car is due for a rebuild. I felt like it was lacking a little bit tonight, but prior to this, I have complimented the hell out of that motor. That's the best motor torque-wise, horsepower-wise, that I have ever had. I still did not think that I stood a chance to compete here at Dominion Raceway, but as far as our night went, I didn't even know. I forgot that I finished second in that second race, so we did have a good night. We gained 30, we got 30 points in the first race, which nets us 10 points. We netted positive points in both races, which is big. Look, man, I'm frustrated. I don't really know how to tell you how I got screwed. Just something seems off. I can't really point fingers because I, I don't know what exactly happened. But if I got thrown out, it should have already happened and we should be done with this cam check by now. I don't know how many times I had to say, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's like we were searching and searching for technicality as in they, they were searching and searching for technicalities and, and it's, they found one. They found one for sure with my dad not be, being a licensed driver, but it's frustrating because I, I wanted to see regardless of whether or not I got thrown out. We definitely did not have a second place car in race one. And I think I, I spent a little bit too much time trying to get by the 22 in race two. On top of all this, this does not hinder how the Zero raced me tonight at all. It really would have been interesting to see had he like got me under caution, what would have happened there, right? I'm still kind of interested because he tried. He did like, try. He, he did try. I don't know. I'm not worried about him. I'm That's not worried about his attempt. He's pissed off, but dude, that guy runs the f piss out of everyone, roughs everybody up. I know. I'm sure this will this will come around full circle at some point. So if he if he wants to carry on, he better make sure he cleans me out and gets me to the point that I cannot get him back. But if he would like to leave it on the table and leave it at this, I don't find anything wrong with what I did in the first race, and he's done stuff to me like that before. Uh, he has attempted the right rear me before. I'll show a clip of when I beat him out on a green white checkered a couple years ago, he tried to right rear me going down the back stretch. And uh, he about wrecked me going off into three and four. Confirmed. Like I'm not gonna watch that and this is gonna be different to me. Yeah, yeah. He... That was intentional. Over aggressive. Yeah, it definitely, he didn't give you anything. Yeah. Which is fine, but neither did I, right? Yeah. So it's like you take and you get. <laughs> So he, he took advantage of me and he roughed me up and I did it right back. And if that's how we're gonna continue to race, that's how we're gonna continue to race. I feel like I've been talking for a minute. Like I said, I was asking Cameron, I apologize for this, but I was asking Cameron if I should make a separate video for the end of this. So if you stuck around and watched, thank you for that. I appreciate it. It was a rough night, but hard fault night at Dominion Raceway coming up with P2s. So I'm getting flashbacks to last year where I finished second 85 times in one season. If you guys want some heat, I'm coming out with some new shirts, so be sure to go to airdug.net. Shout out Cameron for filming, my girlfriend for doing some of the B-roll earlier, but uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. We will be at Southern National on Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe as well, stay up to date with everything that we're doing. Season just got interesting, huh? You were only in the bad boys It would make me cry I would lie